Okay, so now th this this video is it in Aaron's hands, or did the judge keep it? Or is, where is it now? Well, I could tell you, but then we'd have to kill you. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by. <laughs> I'm standing here with a pretty famous person in New Hampshire, Mike Gill, who many of you have read about. Um, now, uh, you, you're with probably more than one organization, but which organization are you with more than any other of yours? What do you mean by organization? Uh, you're with mortgage specialists. You represent them. You own them, correct? I own mortgage specialists. And you, but you also have an anti-corruption organization. What's State that called? State of Corruption. Okay. Is it, does it have a URL or? Stateofcorruption.org. Okay. And. Um, you're running for governor, uh, but I'm interviewing you today uh, because Aaron Day gave me a ride, uh, right. and he's he's someone that's pretty close to you. He and is. and what's most interesting to me that has happened to you guys, and there's a lot of complicated stuff I don't understand, but something I do understand is that you were in court about two months ago. Yes. Two and months. the uh, they put you in jail for alleged contempt, correct? Uh, that was maybe more like three months ago. Okay, three months. And the, even more interesting than that is the fact that Aaron Day uh, was stopped from filming the process. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, can you tell me a little bit about how that unfolded? Was he inside the courtroom when they stopped his camera or? Him, <clears throat> Aaron was in the courtroom filming and we were maybe 10 or 15 minutes into the hearing when the judge stopped the hearing and said, is that a camera? And insisted that Aaron not only stop filming, but quite literally give him his computer, which he did. Now the reason why they did that, and you'll see that the, the judge freaked out, is we caught the judge criminating himself. They don't want to do this. Every courtroom should have a camera in it, because that's how they work. So when they caught Aaron with the camera, he flipped out. Now you tell me, every courtroom should be allowed to have a camera. Why not this one? It's because they knew they were acting corruptly and didn't want you to see it. You know what they didn't want you to see? They didn't want you to see two documents, and both documents threatened to murder my children. All right? One was to cut my children's heads off and mail them back to me. He should have taken them as evidence. When I turned around and and made tried to make me to say I was sorry for offering evidence to protect my children, when I said I wouldn't say I was sorry for giving him that information, he put me in jail for 10, 10 days. Okay, now did that video survive or did the government confiscate it? No, we had the same judge gave Aaron an order not to present it. So the that video was, has been suppressed. Exactly so, by the same judge that the video would have incriminated. Okay, so now th this this video, is it in Aaron's hands or did the judge keep it? Or is, where is it now? Well, I could tell you, but then we'd have to kill you. Okay, that's fine. I can understand. Right. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> See, I, I still live in the world where that is considered a joke. <laughs> and I can laugh at it. But the, um, uh, the video has not been presented to the public, we can say. If we did, they put us in jail again, including okay. Aaron. Okay. How's that for a cover-up? gag orders, these things. This is how they protect themselves. So they issued a gag order to Aaron, but not to you, or? Well, good luck with me. But uh, they order an order to confiscate the computer and destroy any evidence of the video. Okay, okay. 
Uh, so the, the video has either been destroyed or not, but other, it, the part that matters is the public has not been allowed to see it. Right. Okay. Free Talk Live Radio that puts you in control.